Hey guys, this is Harry with UberTech, back with another video. Today's video is how to disassemble and reassemble an AR-15 bolt carrier group, also known as a BCG. So the first thing we're gonna need to do is we're gonna need to take out this retaining pin right here, okay? And so there's a couple different ways of doing it. Uh, you could get a bobby pin and take it out. You could use a big pin and you could take it out. Uh, some people out in the field will use a live round. Uh, this is just a snap cap, it's fake, it's not a real round. Um, but what I use is a AR-15 bolt carrier uh, scraper. So this basically helps you scrape off all the, the gunk off the bolt carrier group after you've shot it. Uh, but right at this tip, that helps you pull out the retaining pin. And so I'll show you how to do that. So basically you're gonna push this hooked part into the top, just like that, and you pull out. And then once you can get your fingers around it, you just slide it right on out. And I'll show you how easy it is. I'll put the retaining pin back in. Sometimes you have to twist it. And I'll show you how easy. Bobby pin, same principle. Put it in here and you just pull it out enough just so you can get your fingers on it. And that's it. Okay. So now that that is out, we have to take out the firing pin which is located right here. So you can just turn it upside down and then it comes right on out. Put that aside. And now we have to take out the bolt cam pin, which is right here. And how you do that is you take this and you twist or you turn it just like that. And then you pull right on out. Set that aside. And then you take out your bolt. And this is your bolt right here. We have successfully disassembled a BCG. That's how easy it is. Let's put it back together. So we take this part and this part. And so for this bolt, there's uh, two portions of this bolt. So this is the bottom part. And how you know is that this piece right here, okay, and right here, um, they're like shaved off a little bit. So that face is down. You notice this side doesn't have it, okay? And that face is up. So that's how you're gonna tell how you're gonna put the bolt back into the bolt carrier. So just make sure that the top part faces up, and then you're gonna push it in, and you're going to make sure that that hole is lined up with this portion right here. Okay, and then once that's lined up, you take your bolt cam pin right here and you're gonna put it in this way, okay? And you're gonna just slide that on in. And again, if you have any issues with putting this in here, that just means that uh, this part is not lined up correctly with this hole. And now that it's in, you're just gonna turn it just like this and it's gonna be like up and down, that's it. And now we take our firing pin and we basically put it in through here and into this hole right here. Oh, let me see if I can get that on camera. Right in there, okay? Um, so how I normally do it, uh, which is gonna be really hard to get this done on camera, but I put my hand right over the open parts right here and here, just like that. And I stand it straight up and down and I take the firing pin and I slide it in like this and I let go and it should fall right into place. See, there you go, it's in there. So this way it just doesn't fall out on either side. Again, it's just something I do, you don't have to do that. Okay, so then you take your retaining pin and you put it into this hole right here. Now I make sure that the hole is like this, okay? And you slide it on in. Now keep in mind, you might have to wiggle it a little bit or move it around to find that hole on the other side right here. But basically you're gonna do that until you find it. And once that hole, or once the retaining pin finds that hole, then you'll, you'll feel it slide right on in, just like that, okay? And then that is it. 
you have successfully reassembled the bolt carrier group for an AR-15. Guys, if you felt this video was helpful, please give it a big thumbs up. If you haven't already, please subscribe. Also, if you have any questions at all, please feel free to put them in the comments and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. I'll see you in the next one.